Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today we have a mainly drugstore first impressions type of video. first time stopping by my channel then go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now and go ahead and give this video a like if you would love to see more first impressions makeup tutorials so like I said in the beginning you guys we have mainly drugstore products that are either new to the drugstore or new to me and I wanted to do a full face of the things that I found in the drugstore lately you guys haven't seen a drugstore haul or any haul for that matter um, lately on my channel because I've been going to the drugstore like here and there or finding stuff here and there. And instead of me doing like a complete haul of things, I just decided to bring it to camera in action and see how we both feel about it. But if you guys would like a collective drugstore haul with the products that I've recently been finding then go ahead and comment that down below you guys know I'm here to do whatever you need or want <laughs> so therefore we're gonna do a full face I haven't found any new brow products nor have I been looking for brow products so that's why my brows are already done so I haven't picked up any new eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore so therefore we're gonna go bare face yet again for this video but you guys i do want to move on into the wet n wild prime focus primer serum it's a hydrating primer serum and i haven't seen nobody talk about this and in the store it says new so i was like you know what let's try it the last product that i got from wet n wild i forgot what it was called I forgot which one it was called but I did not enjoy it so I was like kind of on the fence about it but since it's a prime primer serum I was like you know what you really can't go wrong with that so so she looks pretty promising so <laughs> let's try her I did shake her up a little bit let's see what it claims okay she has a good fresh smell she smells like rose water and you guys know I love me some rose water Actually, and I did not moisturize my face or anything because we're really not going nowhere today and she's not sticky it feels like she's seeping into the skin oh she got a little grip to her she got a little grip to her so let's kind of press her in now not oily or anything which is pretty good hydrating water based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extracts refines and nourishes as it preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear but so far so good with that one i do have the new elf sponge this is the total face sponge used wet or dry and the claims for this is the multi-sided sculpting sponge has angled sides for highlighting and rounded sides for flawless blending the perfection point the perfection point is perfect for concealing imperfections works with liquid or powders so we're going to be testing her out she is wet you guys i don't think i could ever use a sponge not wet but she's pretty big and she's real squishy it's almost like um she reminds me of memory foam so how do you guys like the lighting i wanted to tell you guys that i did purchase another set of lights so it's like to me it's even brighter in here and i'm loving it i like it i like it i like it a lot a lot so you guys tell me if y'all see a difference in video and how are y'all feeling about that background you know we're in the love month so let me know how y'all feeling about the background i like it my wife actually picked it out for me so i'm loving it hmm. okay we're gonna move on over into the new cover girl clean fresh skin milk 
Nourishing Foundation and it's with coconut milk and aloe extract. And I do know from my research, the lightest shade is porcelain and the darkest shade is dark. This one says deep dark, which is 630. It has a dewy finish to it. I've only watched one review on this product and it was actually Paige. If you guys don't know who Paige is, I will link her channel down below, but that's the only one I watched. Um, I watched hers because it just hell happened to pop up on my timeline for YouTube, but I haven't watched anyone dark girl friendly just so that I won't get my opinions off of them. So, so let's see what the claims of her is. She blurs imperfections, evens out skin tone, sheer door, sheer, sheer blendable coverage and it's buildable not blendable sheer buildable coverage instant and all day hydration so let's see hopefully deep dark is my shade because that was like there was only one shade lighter than deep dark which i feel like will be too light so i don't know how much to put Squeezy tubes are always, you know, a little wishy-washy because you don't know exactly how much to put. And sometimes you could get, you could put too much and you can't really put it back. So I don't know. But I'm wondering if this is going to be anything better than the Maybelline. What's that one that I love so much? The Maybelline Summer Squeeze one. I will put it somewhere here on the screen. You guys know I've been loving that one. So kind of want to you know see if it's better so i'm only going to put about this much and it looks like she's a decent match so we're going to do one side first so we can see the difference and then we'll do the other side and y'all please don't say nothing about my hair i just put down my wig don't come for me in the comments don't unsubscribe just because y'all see a little bit of lace. Hmm. So, so far, I like the sponge. It really re reminds me of memory foam. On camera, I don't think you could see it. But in person, I just look, I look a little bit hydrated, not covered at all, like not whatsoever, but I look a little bit more hydrated and healthy. So here's the side without foundation. And then here's the side with foundation. And like I say, you guys probably can't see it, but I can see it and I still see everything. So I'm just going to go in a little bit heavier. Let's see. It says it's buildable. So let's see how buildable. That gave me a little bit more coverage. Oh, and it's kind of neutral. To me, it looks like more grayish. Okay, to me, she looks a little more neutral than I would like. Um, she is buildable. And I do think if you're not the one for a heavy duty, flawless foundation, then this is your girl. Like, this is where it's at. But for me, I wouldn't pass her up, but I wouldn't pick her up again. So I am gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45, nothing new about it. It's just a project pan. And there was a concealer that I did wanna use, which is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer, but I forgot I have the Born to Glow foundation that I actually wanna give a first impressions with. And so, I'm just gonna go in with my MAC and 
yeah I'll be right back let's just skip over the part okay so I was gonna skip over this part but I did want to you know use the sponge to see how we're blending out and I kind of feel like the MAC Pro Longwear may be a little too heavy for this foundation but we're going to go with it. It's just a little bit more of my speed of concealer and color because as you could tell it honestly looks like I'm a tad bit grayish now due to the foundation, but yeah, this is going to come out kind of scary looking because of how gray the foundation is looking. So the concealer is pulling like way more orangier than normal. This is looking really cray cray, but I don't think of that damn dog. Yeah, we're going to be looking crazy by the end of this. Well, we're going to try to fix it, but hey, this is what first impressions are about. Y'all, I keep looking down at my monitor because not looking so good so I am just gonna set my concealer with the Cody Airspun nothing new about it this is the translucent extra coverage I don't have no new translucent <clears throat> I don't have any new setting powders that are from the drugstore I haven't really seen any so I'm just gonna stick with to you know what's normal I'm feeling a little scared right now you guys are my lights too bright? Well, one side look ghostly and the other side don't, huh? What do you guys think? Was it too bright or was it bright? Y'all gotta be my judges. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in Honeymoon. This is not a first impression on this because you guys seen me haul this or use this in one of my monthly videos or a first, imp first impression video. But I do like this and this is a part of my shop mustache this month. If you guys haven't seen that video, then I will have it you know, linked. You guys should go and watch it. But I have been liking using a sponge to apply these loose powders so oh wow no um i do like pressing my loose powders in this way i have learned to you know like that but it clinging on to the foundation is not right Y'all, this is going to scare me. Don't know yet, but I'm a little hesitant still. You guys, I do like these type of containers that come really big and full of products, but the mess habit of it is ridiculous. It, ugh, it does so much. It leaves a big mess and it creates a big mess. Yeah, I am going to bronze up my skin with my original CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. Nothing new about it, but she's a part of Shop Mustache and Project Pan. So we're going to go real lightly. We're not going to give too much. So I can't even go heavy like I would normally do because it is the coverage is just not allowing it. So let's just bring my natural contour and color back here. I just would prefer more coverage. I mean, that's really it. And it kind of changes up everything else that I really wanted to use in this video. I was going to use my, my 
Crim Shop Swipe Right Brow Gel, but I think these brows are like doing a little bit too much standing out now that the foundation really doesn't give that coverage I was looking for. So I won't be using that. I was going to use liquid liner and stuff like that, but I'm not doing that either because I don't know. I'm a little like, I feel like this is like enough. You know what I mean? Like just to go with, I don't know you guys. This is like, ooh, to me, I'm a little like, what the world? I'm gonna try my Elegantly Me Cosmetics Blush. Um, this one is in Touch of Spice. You guys, if y'all would like to get the new Ada's Beauty Kit, inspired by me, whatever you like to call it, you guys, y'all can get the blush, the lipstick, and the eyeshadow. I reviewed this company a few weeks ago to you guys. I will have the video there. You guys, I do, they did name that beauty kit after me because I loved it so much and they loved my review and I'm super, super honored as well as appreciative to them just giving me that. If you guys would like to purchase the beauty kit, it will be down below in the hot box. If you use, if you purchase the beauty kit, down below in the link in the month of February, you will get a percentage off, but the code is a one-time use code as well as it's only for February. So if you want to get it, go ahead and get it now. The link is down below in the hot box. I am going to dust some of this on really quickly. Not too much because like I said, this look is, you know, just kind of throwing me off a little bit. So, I'm just going to put, look how, I, I barely put any on in this pigmentation. It's so real. Oh, I love it. I love this blush. I love it, love it, love it. And I could go like completely overboard with this blush. I absolutely. I am going to dust on my Ruby Kisses All Over Glow in Bronze Glow. It's not new, but it's new to me. And I never used it on my channel because it shattered when I first bought it so I never used it until right now I went ahead and like knocked what was off of there like the broken parts I went ahead and knocked it off and was like you know what I'm gonna use it anyway Ooh, it's a natural glow so like I'm gonna use it anyway since I spent my money on it Ooh. That's pretty to be a natural glow. This would match this look. This matches this, yeah. Not too much, not too beaming. Just soft, glowy highlighter. Thought we were gonna have like some bangers and I was gonna be like blown away. But, this highlighter is really freaking pretty. And like I said, it matches this type of look. She matches a whole lot to this look. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some mascara really quick so I can stop looking like a naked mole rat or something. So, we're going to end up calling this look like a no makeup makeup kind of look because, my goodness, I don't look terrible, don't get me wrong, I don't look terrible, but I was expecting to go with a little bit more than what we got going on, you know what I mean? But I don't look terrible. So, we're going to go in with the Maybelline's. Color Sensational Shape and Lip Liner, and this one is in 120 Rich Chocolate. I don't believe this is new, but I've bought it and don't remember what it's like, so I just want to go ahead and, oh, it's kind of reddish, that's why. Very creamy and very pigmented. 
but that's probably why I don't remember it because it's pulling off more reddish than a rich chocolate color. How many of you were planning on watching a first impressions video from your girl that is just like not turning out so good? Because <sighs> I sure didn't. I didn't think. I thought we was going to have some bangers today. But we're going to move on over into the lips. And the new lipstick I got is the Powder Puff Lippy. This is the Powder Lip Cream by NYX professionals and this one is in the shade cool intentions and she looks real cool but she looks like a cool nude so hopefully hopefully we like her oh look at that applicator that is weird now i heard people say that this is like really a different type of texture and that it was real interesting, but I am so scared. Okay, there it goes. I was gonna say if this crap shoots out at me, I will be devastated. So let's swatch it first before. Oh, she's brownie. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. She may match this lip liner. She's a real thick chick. Y'all, I kind of like this color. I don't even know how much to put on. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. Power of the pout. Pucker up and swipe on that just kissed flush of color. Featuring a soft cushion applicator, this lightweight lippy goes on moussey and sets to a powdery soft finish. I think I will pair her with more of a darker brown. She's not bad. I, I can't lie. She's not bad. So, I was going to go in with the famous, hyped up, what are these called again? Butter glosses that everybody on the internet has hyped up. This one is in cin cinnamon roll. You guys, y'all hyped this up so much throughout the internet within the past year and I finally found it and I kind of want to put it on but at the same time this red liner doesn't look like this chocolate liner from Maybelline doesn't seem like it's gonna work because it looks weird already in my opinion with the lip but yeah, this is the look. I don't have anything else. Oh, I did tell y'all we had the Revolutions, but I forgot we also had the Ruby Kisses. So I'm going to top off. This is the Revolutions um, Ultra Blush Kit. And this one is in Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I just, I bought this a while ago. If you guys seen my Ulta, the latest Ulta haul that I have on my channel, which was like maybe a year ago, you guys, I purchased this and never opened it until now. And this is what the colors look like. Beautiful, beautiful shades. So let me just dust a little bit on. Um, I don't think none of them have names. Yeah, none of them have names. But, where's my highlighter brush again? I'm going to take like this one right here. And I'm just going to dust it on top of this so you guys can see. Like how, y'all see how much more that imped this highlighter up? Uh, and it just, it shouldn't. It shouldn't even look like this. Well, my face shouldn't look like this at this moment because this is literally... A makeup no makeup type of look but y'all see that highlighter oh I love this highlighter kit but I will use this one in the next one in another video just so you guys can see it on its own but the last thing I'm gonna use is this new creme shop I am silky matte primer 
and setting spray. This is a 12 hour setting spray. And look at the bottle. She looks so fancy. And I poured her out because I wanted to try her out. So let's go ahead. But there you have it, you guys. This is the completed look of this first impressions. So let's talk about, I think we spoke about this foundation enough. Not my cup of tea, but I won't throw her away yet. I'm gonna play with her some more, but I would not go and pick up anything else from this line. I just think this is more of a, I know they came out with their workout type of line before CoverGirl has, but I think this needs to be over there in that or in the no makeup, makeup type of day looks. This lipstick, this powder puff lippy, I think is bomb. I think the color is pretty. Um, it still hasn't dried down yet, but I would love to try it with a deeper lip liner color, but the shade of the lipstick itself looks like something that I would like really prefer to wear. It's not as cool as I thought it would be, but it's like right on point. It's right there where it needs to be. The Wet n Wild Primer Serum, I like it. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna continue to test this out. I like that it's very lightweight and water-based. Like I do not feel it on my skin. I didn't feel it on my skin. It's really watery and it came to like a tacky feeling at the end once I massaged it into my skin and it seeped into my skin really well, but it wasn't too tacky to where it could have, you know, possibly messed up the form of the foundation or anything like that. The foundation went over it just right. Like there's no complaints about that. And of course I do like my Touch of Spice by Elegantly Me cosmetics i love this blush i'm gonna continue to use this blush um the lip liner i'm gonna set this to the side this is not rich chocolate like i thought and you guys know i hate to even say anything bad about maybelline because i love maybelline so much but maybelline this is not rich chocolate like it's not you should have probably named this brick brown because that's the vibe I'm getting from it. Oh, and then the Ruby Kisses, even though this is not new, it's the first impressions, bronze glow, pretty good for a soft, subtle highlighter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I was gonna do a wear test, but there's no need to do a wear test on this foundation because as I could tell, I just don't really like it. Um, but I will, you know, continue to play with it a little, little bit more. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, you guys keep shining and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.